Well, hello friends, welcome back to the Dork Side. I'm the Dork in the Road, and I bet some of you recognize this bike. Jake the Garden Snake is letting me borrow his Project 300L to rip out through the desert. I'm the Dork in the Road, and I want to be your internet riding buddy, so please consider subscribing. Big shout out and thank you to Jake for letting me borrow his bike. Obviously, you've probably heard of Jake the Garden Snake, but if you haven't, I'll link his channel. You should go check it out, subscribe to him. He did a whole build series on this bike so you can see every single piece that's been added to it. It's got Dino Jet, full exhaust, the fancy race tech suspension, and he's gone through this thing and really turned it into a very different beast. So while I have ridden a 300L before that was fully stock, this is a completely different animal. So I'm looking forward to taking it out here in the desert and doing something stupid, you know? That's good times. We are here at the Get On ADV Fest in Mojave. You're good, man. It's ADV Agenda. Go follow him. All right, see, you can hear from the beginning, that does not sound like a typical 300L. And I just rode the 450RL. Check out that video if you haven't. Smooth two-finger clutch. I like this setup a lot. This is butter smooth, dude. This is so different from that 300L. Just the suspension, the fit and finish. All right, so there's some decent whoops right here. So it's a great kind of first test. I don't know what tires he's got on this. I think the most the tractionator, I'm pretty sure. So let's rip it through the desert. All right, we're in third. Here's a big jump. Oh yeah, dude, this suspension. You don't even feel like you have to slow down. Wow, I mean, you know suspension setup makes a difference, but it's one thing to hear about it and another to experience it like this. That is sweet. Marked improvement, it's a whole different bike. And uh, so I, like I said, I just rode that 450RL and this feels like that. Just a little less torquey, obviously, but the suspension setup, that's probably better than the 450L stock setup even, but uh, it feels good, it's fun. Eats up the bumps, even with my weight, and I'm pretty heavy, about 260 right now. And uh, this is a blast to rip this thing through the desert. And you know, that's what they say is if, the 300L is a great bike if you wanna just putt around, explore forest roads and stuff, but if you really want it to be a serious trail bike, or you wanna ride super aggressively, you gotta put suspension on it. And that's just the nature of the beast because it's really not designed for like super aggressive riding. It's a, it's a very beginner friendly, comfortable putting around the woods type bike. But uh, you know, once you, you quickly find the limitations of that, what gear am I in? Ooh, this is fun. Quickly find the limitation to that if you're doing anything even remotely aggressive on it. Even just like this, not crazy, but the sandy stuff, you know. So, and that's what Jake's done is he's just taken it and added all the mods you need to make it a little more aggressive trail bike but kept it you know the uber reliable 300 platform and uh and really just built a bike that is impressive what it can do and how different it is from the stock version so uh you guys know i test rode the, the regular 300l did some trails on it and i was impressed with how smooth it is but definitely the suspension the squishy the squishy suspension is the achilles heel of that bike and so this bike is obviously everything i liked about that and more without that Achilles heel, without that squishy garbage suspension. Looks like you're floating on a cloud and it's bottoming constantly. We haven't come close to bottoming this. Such a good setup. Well built, obviously. And just fun to get out on a bike I've seen on the internet, you know, and in so many videos, it's kind of surreal to just be riding it and tearing up some trails on it right now. Kind of cool. Oh, pretty cool. It's so nice out here. Just a little bit of light sand, and if you're comfortable with that, you know, it's pretty flat. You get some good whoops and these burnt corners that you can hit, but you can ride forever and not worry about getting anything super crazy. Unless there's like big sand pits that I just haven't found yet, which is totally possible. Give you a better look at it and its natural surroundings, but he's got a custom wrap and that's all reflective. Very sweet sit down for a bit see how it feels i like it. it's got the seat concepts comfort tall seat and you can really feel it it's not bad at all but this thing just rips sitting down too it's just heating it up again none of this is surprising but it's hard to say much uh it's fun the power delivery is fun it's not overwhelming the 300l but it does have a little bit more snap than uh, the stock 300l does but this is just a quick little rip it's cool jake to let me take it out experience a built 300L and I gotta tell you this bike so I always say that I'm a bigger fan of the KLX than I am the 300L and it's because 
of the adjustable suspension. But if you're wanting to put the money in, I mean, I think the Honda is a better looking bike overall, and it's probably a better built bike overall. Not that Kawasaki's aren't good, but just build quality and fit and finish. I just really like Hondas, I always have. So if you're looking for the ultimate 300 dual sport and you're willing to put $1,000 or more into suspension, you can make a very decent bike out of the 300L, but you can also just get the KLX 300 and not have to do that as long as you're okay with a little bit uglier bike. And I have ridden the KLX, but not off-road, so I can't attest to it. It's, it's got decent, similar power and all that, but I don't know how she does off-road because I've only ridden the supermoto version. Final conclusions-wise, great fun bike, super fun to ride, and obviously go check out Jake's build series if you hadn't. Uh, and we'll hit those big whoops on the way back at speed just one more time because it's fun oh dude the rebound it's just bouncing me that's interesting jumping it is you can't even tell you're off the ground wow that's sick it's really making me want a bike with better suspension or to actually spend the money to get mine set up probably both because uh, there's such a huge difference when you start riding faster when you're first riding you know it's not as big of a deal you're sitting down a lot you're not going that fast but when you start hitting obstacles and bumps like this at faster speed you just need a tighter suspension that's better set up to deal with that stuff. Otherwise, you're just getting bounced all over the damn place and it sucks. You don't want to do that, so uh, something to consider. And it's, you know, this is me growing into my riding skills. I did not need to think about that kind of stuff when I first started, but I'm just getting a little better and a little more confident and I'm starting to see the value. Here's that big whoop section. Oh yeah, I'm not fighting it at all. Just floating. My bike just gets so much rebound, and this just like it's just tight. This feels good. This feels good. But anyway, that was my test ride on Jake's bike. That was fun. So, thanks for watching, and please do not forget to be excellent to each other. I oh, thank you. Excellent. Yay!